What's up everybody? Welcome back to another script tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make a join counter. Let's take a look. All right, so I opened a new file in Atom and I'm going to type on first join. So this only happens if it's the player's first time joining. Then we'll define a variable here. So add uh, one to joins. Let's just call it joins. So this will be the total number of unique joins on the server. Every time someone joins for the first time, it will add one to the number of unique joins, of course. And then let's define another variable. So we're going to set and let's call this one a join number. And we're going to use the player in this one. And we're going to set that one to joins. So this ba basically gives the player their own unique join number. So it just stores the number that they joined as when they joined the server for the first time. And then let's give the player a little message when they join for the first time. So let's do send. And we can write something like you are number. And then we're going to use our valuable up here to get the, the number that the player has to join this server. And to player at the end, of course. And that's pretty much it. Now you have the variables that you can use for different stuff. Um, but I'm also going to add a command so players can actually view their own and other players uh, join numbers. So I'm going to do a command called uh, join join number. And we're going to use an argument here called offline player. So we can actually uh, view an offline player's join number as well. Um, and then, of course, the trigger. And if arg1 is set, we're going to send a message. So send, and then we're going to use arg1, which is the player that we defined, joined as number. And then we're going to use this variable up here but replace player with arg1, of course. And two player at the end as well. We can also do a little thing here. So if arg1 is not set, so else send, and then we're just gonna use the player. So we're gonna use the same thing here, but then replace arg1 as just player, you know? So, and as well as here, of course. So if you just type join number and don't define a player, it would just show you your own join number. And uh, let me just copy this whole thing and let's test it out on my server. So I'm on my Minehut dashboard right now and I've just made a completely new server and installed script. So we're gonna go plugin script and scripts and we're gonna make a new one called, I don't know, join.sk. Uh, whoop. And then I'm just going to paste the whole thing in here and then click save. And now I haven't joined this server at all before, uh, so it should work on my first join here. I'm just going to press restart so I don't have to reload the script in game first. So the script should be ready when I just join the server. So uh, let, let's, uh, let's go ahead and join the server once it's up. All right, now I'm on the Minehut server. I'm just in the lobby and I'm gonna join my server and let's see what happens. And there we go. I joined and it says you are number one. So that's, that's something. Uh, what was it? Join number. And let's see when I don't specify a player, it says my own number. And if I specify someone, um, some random player, as you can see, it will say none because they haven't played before, but if they had, it would show their number. So, uh, yeah, it looks like it's working. Uh, so that's pretty much it for today's video. If you have any further questions, make sure to join my discord server and ask them there. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.